This ultra optic support video is intended to show the customer how to properly set up the lines and filter in a mini two coating system as well as measure the DC voltage going to the coating pump. First off, what we're going to do is we're going to explain how the system works. We've got your coating bowl, your coating reservoir. You should always keep your reservoir filled about halfway mixed with the filter and the reservoir that should always be between one and a half and two bottles of coating. The way your system works is when your pump motor turns on, it activates the coating pump. Gravity is going to feed the coating down through the reservoir into the side of the pump. The pump's going to push the coating in through this tube and it's going to go to the top side of the UOC 5 micron coating filter, part number 4404. Take note that the flow indication arrow is going down. In order to properly install the coating tubing to the filter fitting, you always want to make sure you put the nut on first, push the coating tube all the way into the fitting so you can see it on the inside, keep the tubing in the fitting, and turn the nylon nut onto the fitting hand tight. Do not use a wrench, do not use thread tape. filter should sit inside the machine as such so that the bleeder valve is at the highest point in the machine. If you look at the tubing, there should be no hard kinks. Nothing should be angled or bent. That's going to cause a loss of coating flow up at your application nozzle and may result in poor coats or not coating at all. If you're having problems with your coating pump, not pumping coating ac accurately, and you have double checked your system for any kinks in the lines, what you're going to do is remove the coating pump harness from the coating pump, and you're going to take a multimeter. You'll put your black probe into the black terminal connector and the red probe into the red terminal connector. You're going to set your multimeter to DC voltage. And what we're looking for is somewhere between three and nine volts. You're going to turn the coating pump prime on. When you get that, you should see somewhere around five volts on average. This is only on average. As I said, you'll get somewhere around three volts on the low end and nine volts on the high end. Currently, this indicator is showing that we do have voltage to the harness. If you're still experiencing issues, please contact Ultra Optics Technical Support at 800-365 9993 or email us at technical support at ultraoptics.com